Did you ever think that a 16-year-old girl could walk nearly 8,000 miles on foot, lead an expedition that would one day affect the entire United States, and carry a baby on her back all at the same time? Well, that's exactly what I did. My name is Sakagawea. Most people call me Sacagawea, but it's really pronounced Sakagawea. I had some pretty amazing adventures in my life, and here's my story. I was born in 1788 to two Shoshone Indians named Sakaga and Wabend. My tribe is very peaceful. One day in 1800, when I was 12 years old, Minotary Indians came and attacked my tribe. We all ran into the woods and tried to hide, but a Minotary Indian grabbed me, and right then I knew that I had just been kidnapped. They took me 600 miles from my home and gave me to a Minotary family. A few years later, there was a Canadian fur trader. His, that, his name was Toussaint Sherbano, and he was three times older than me. But when he saw me, he wanted me for his wife. So the family that I was living with traded me to him. By the time I was 15, I was pregnant. During this time, President Thomas Jefferson had just bought the Louisiana Purchase from France. This is the northwest part of our country today. No white men had ever explored this part of our land, so President Jefferson set out an expedition to explore it. Meriwether Lewis and William Clark led the trip. The expedition started in St. Louis in 1803, but I didn't start until 1804. Lewis and Clark thought that they would need an interpreter that spoke Shoshone because they knew that they were going to try to trade for horses with the Shoshone Indians, and they chose me. When they chose me, they had already been traveling for one year, and I was supposed to have my baby soon. So to hurry along the birth, they gave me a special powder made from a rattlesnake's tail to drink with water. Within ten minutes, I had a healthy baby boy in my arms. My husband named him Jean-Baptiste, but Clark nicknamed him Pomp. After I had Pomp, we set off, but the group had no clue how valuable I would be. Five weeks into our trip, I stopped a terrible disaster. It was foggy on the river, and one of our boats tipped over. One person fell out and couldn't swim, so I helped him back into the boat. Then, most of our belongings fell out, so I got in the water and saved them before they floated away. I didn't just help with this terrible disaster. I helped Lewis and Clark navigate through the woods and taught them about different plants. In 1805, I got reunited with my tribe. When I was kidnapped, I was worried that my family had not survived. But when I found my tribe, I realized that my brother and sister survived. We traded battle axes, knives, and clothing with the Shoshone for the horses that we needed to finish the expedition. It took us 28 months to finish the trip. When it was over, my husband, son, and I moved to St. Louis for a while, and then moved to South Dakota where I had my baby daughter, Lisette. I died soon after having Lisette in 1812. I was very young, only in my 20s when I died. But nobody really knows how I died. In the year 2000, the United States issued a dollar coin with my face on it. They thought that because of all the help I gave Lewis and Clark, their expedition was a success. I got the Louisiana Purchase mapped and learned about so Americans could start moving westward. This is why I was such an important person in American history.